Our planet, a world of shifting landscapes, each with different challenges for the creatures who make it their home. Diving deep under the water's surface, we can see how one animal has evolved for the underwater world it inhabits. The octopus. With its eight arms, it propels itself along the seabed, sometimes swimming, climbing over rocks, feeling its way. The suckers covering its body are taste receptors. Imagine your body covered in hundreds of tongues. What would you taste as you moved along the ocean floor? The octopus is a master of disguise. Being spineless without a single bone in its body means it can do this. Squeeze into a tight spot and disappear when necessary. Like the octopus in the ocean, animals and plants all over the world have special ways of surviving in the place where they live. Their habitat. Whether it's woodland, water, deserts or mountains, a habitat holds everything a creature needs to live and grow. Food, shelter, air, and water. Plants provide shelter and food for herbivores, who in turn are prey for predators. In one way or another, they all depend on each other, and they all have evolved and adapted to the place that they call home. Like these three bears. They're distantly related, but they live in very different places. From the far frozen north, to lush woodlands, and the sweltering heat of a bamboo forest. In the past, these bears have shared a common ancestor. But now they have all changed and adapted to their local habitat. How are they different? What has changed? What kind of environment have they adapted to? Polar bears have thick white coats, keeping them warm and making them less visible in the icy Arctic. There are very few hiding places here. These bears have the most sensitive noses of any mammal. They can smell a seal several kilometers away. They can swim for days on end in freezing water. Their fur repels water, and their forepaws are round and webbed. Great for swimming and walking on soft snow. Giant pandas spend their days searching for and eating bamboo. Only bamboo. They must eat all day and sometimes part of the night. Pandas have larger heads than other bears, with strong jaw muscles for chewing tough bamboo. They also have another unique feature. Because they spend all day stripping the leaves from branches, they have an extra thumb. Brown bears live in woodlands, where their food supply changes with the season. In the summer, there is plenty to eat, a good time to bring up cubs. There's fish to catch, berries to munch on. In the autumn, Brown bears eat as much as they can, getting ready for winter, when food is hard to find and it's time to enter the den. Brown bears snooze their way through much of winter, using very little energy. 
three different bears from three different habitats. Can you think of some other habitats? Can you think of the animals and plants that might live there? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more. And if you liked our free resource, show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up.